Good morning. As we have done last week during our communion time, it's, it's different than we had usually do it on Sunday, ser Sunday morning services. So I just want to tell you again how we're doing it. I'm going to read a, a communion meditation. And then we will together take each of the emblems. Okay? Because I'd like to do it as a unis unified body. So let me read to you first from Matthew chapter 26, 27 through 28. While they were eating, Jesus took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body. Then he took a cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink from it, all of you. This is my blood, the covenant which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. Now, before Jesus died, God's people sac sacrificed a lamb each year during the peace feast of the Passover to remind them that God brought them out of slavery in Egypt. You can find that in Exodus chapter 12. Jesus timed his death to take place at the beginning of Passover when God's people were sacrificing their lambs. This would show that Jesus' death is the once for all sacrifice. The once and for all sacrifice of God to save the people from their slavery to sin. Now we remember Jesus' sacrifice by celebrating the Lord's Supper, instituted by Jesus the night before he died. We call this communion, the Lord's Supper. It is a celebration, but it's also a confession that we need to be forgiven. Matthew highlights this point as Jesus says that his blood is poured out for the forgiveness of sin. Every time we take the bread and the cup, we, get, we remember together what, that we are sinners who need Jesus to die for us. We had, we had to set the table. We need this sacrifice. But in the Lord's Supper, our guilt is met by the saving grace of God. And as we eat and drink, we assured that God's saving grace overcomes our guilt because of Jesus' sacrifice. Will you pray with me? Dear Jesus, I am sorry for my sins. I thank you for dying in my place so that I could be forgiven. Your love is unquestionable. Thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. So at this time, I'd like us to pick up and take our bread, and then together we'll take the bread together, and then we'll have a moment of silence following. I'd like to take the cup, the cup of juice that represents Christ's blood that was poured out for you and for me. Again, Jesus, I want to thank you for loving us unconditionally. Thank you for coming down from heaven, perfection, being a great example for us, and ultimately dying on the cross as a great example for our sins. Thank you. In Jesus' name, amen.